All right, let me show you how to install the symbol blockchain. So previous name of this blockchain is NAM. Now we know it as symbol, symbolplatform.com. You browse all the way down and click download wallet and you click release, um, releases, wallet releases. Now you um, uh, choose your system Mac, Linux or uh, Windows and install this application. When it's installed you create your mnemonic phrase which means you create your address, your, your wallet. You enter your name, it's just for, you, for your own uh, convenience and here you uh, choose testnet so you don't want to work with uh, a real blockchain now we're just playing around with the, the, the testnet blockchain so you enter you create your password your password is not your private key actually your private key is locked under the password so now you you have to drag the mouse to generate these your private key and then the system will create your mnemonic phrase with this phrase you will be able to back up your system to restore actually uh, your system if you lost your password so remember when I explained so if uh, you lost your password you won't be able to decrypt your private key so now you click uh, download and make sure that you save your mnemonic phrase here you see the PDF file uh, and your address and your mnemonic phrase now the system wants you to repeat this phrase to make sure that you remember it or you stored it so you just click these words you don't type them you just click them in the same order that the system provided you. When it's done, you will see the button next, so you, then you will be able to click. And I agree. And voila, the system is created, your wallet is created, and now you see your address. So you can copy this address, it's your cryptocurrency or blockchain address. Now you click faucet, faucet, this button is only for the testnet, through the faucet you can claim your toy cryptocurrency and so we can test this system. You can type some amount up to 10,000, the system uh, creates tr transaction and send it to your wallet. You can go online and check this transaction it's online blockchain explorer but let's get back to the wallet you see this transaction in the history you have 10,000 coins and now let's create our first tokens here in the system it is called mosaics so click create mosaics and here you can specify the uh, amount of coins you want to create which is called supply. Divisibility means decimals. Duration, it means that how long these tokens will be valid. So you can play around with number of blocks. How long, how many blocks these tokens are valid. This is uh, here on, 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 on the right, you see um, the period actually. But you can click uh, unlimited which means that these tokens will be valid forever. It's transferable, mutable means that uh, you can add some tokens. So if you uh, check this, you will be able to add, to issue more tokens. You can uh, uh, create some restrictions for these tokens. And now let's specify how many tokens we want to create. I have to explain a bit. Uh, so assume we want to create 100 tokens and we want to have four decimals 
it will look like this. So 100 point and four zeros. Uh, in this system, it's a bit confusing, so I have to explain. So if you want to create 100 tokens, you have to get rid of this point and just uh, specify the whole amount with the number of decimals. Here you enter your password and you create your first transaction. You wait a bit. You go to the history, you can go to the history and check it. Okay, you see this transaction, it's unconfirmed, so the block is created, but no other blocks are created after this block, so it is unconfirmed. When some new blocks created, it is now confirmed. So now you see these, uh, your, your tokens, your first tokens in the system, you have 100 tokens under this hash sum, uh, under this transaction ID, if you wish. So now let's send these coins to someone. So first you click send and then in the field 2 you specify the, your recipient, you specify an address. Then you choose the asset you want to send, so you choose your coins and you specify the number. Right now in the moment your coins doesn't have any name, any specific names, but we'll get back to it later. You can specify some message to your recipient. Uh, if, if you see uh, when you type in the, the fee changes, so it means it calculates in real time how much you have to spend to create this transaction. Then you enter your password and you click confirm to create this transaction and send it to the blockchain. You wait until it's confirmed and you see this transaction in the history, 10 coins sent to someone, to, to the address that you've, you've sent. So now we want to create an alias. Alias means the, the name of these coins. It's optional, but to make this you have to cl click namespace and first you have to create some kind of name. Uh, you will uh, also publish this name on the blockchain, so it will stay forever. Um, but the thing is that it also has a duration time, which means it will be valid for some time. It will be published, but you def def specify some um, time of validity. So we created this name in this transaction. While we wait the confirmation, let me explain you how does this Explorer work. So you just click in your wallet uh, on Explorer, it's just a link, and you open the web page of this transaction with all details that you see in your wallet, everyone can see online in the, uh, in the Blockchain Explorer. And now we go back to our tokens and refresh the page, we see that it is confirmed, the transaction is confirmed, and go to namespace. So here is our new name, we go to mosaics, open our tokens, at the right you see uh, the option to add alias to these tokens. So now we add the, this uh, alias and send the transaction to the blockchain. When it is confirmed, you see that this transaction is done. We go back to mosaics and see that our alias is attached to our tokens. Let's go back to, um, to dashboard and send our tokens to someone else. So now you see um, I'm adding uh, an address, but also we can add here an alias. Yes, the alias can be attached to an asset like we did uh, with our tokens, but uh, alias can be attached also to an identity. So uh, here instead of an address, I specify just someone's name from the namespace. So I'm sending coins to Alice. 40 coins. 
we see this transaction 40 coins sent to Alice now let us browse in the account so now you see our address our public key some other details proof of importance is needed to mine coins to mine cryptocurrency their consensus protocol is called proof of importance you can read about it on the website you see the QR code so you can download and share with someone and so you can receive coins on your address this is mosaics the place where your tokens live and you can create this is namespace where your aliases live and you can create them multi-sig is a, a way how you can create transactions with many participants harvesting is actually mining mining new blocks and uh, getting reward for that cryptocurrency aggregate is another function where you can uh, create some aggregated assets here news you can read news about the project so basically that's it what you need to work with this wallet